Hi guys and welcome to Shields Cooking. Today we're going to make a pear tart and it's going to be multiple layered. The first layer is a layer of crunchy pan and that's a mixture made with almond, eggs and sugar. Then there's going to be some cream that I've seasoned with white chocolate and cognac. And to top it all off, some deliciously poached pear. So, let's begin. Start by pouring 750 milliliters of white wine in a pan. Now add 500 milliliters of water and 200 grams of sugar. Then cut a vanilla pot in half and scrape out the seeds. Add them to the white wine mixture as well with two lemons that are cut in half. Also add 4 sticks of cinnamon and 20 pieces of cardamom. Bring this to a boil. Meanwhile, peel 5 pieces of pear. Add them to the boiling poaching liquid and cover it with parchment paper. Now turn down the heat and let them poach for 1 hour. Then put 30 grams of butter in a bowl and mix this. Now add 100 grams of sugar with 2 eggs and mix it again. Then add 30 grams of flour with 100 grams of almond powder and the zest of 1 lemon. Mix this and then put it in a piping bag. Once the pears are cooked, turn off the heat and let them cool down in the liquid. While that's cooling down, pour 180 grams of flour in a bowl with 30 grams of almond powder, 80 grams of icing sugar, 4 grams of salt and 110 grams of butter. Then crack one egg in a bowl and beat it. Now add 30 grams of the egg. Knead this into a nice bowl of dough. Then cover it and let it rest in your fridge for one hour. Now pour 250 grams of milk in a pan with 60 grams of sugar, 2 grams of salt. Bring this to a boil. Meanwhile, separate enough eggs for 100 grams of egg yolk. Mix this with 20 grams of cornstarch and 30 grams of cognac. Then slowly add the boiling milk mixture and then pour it back into the pan. Now while stirring, cook it to the desired thickness. Then mix it with 100 grams of white chocolate until it's a smooth cream. Put it through a sieve. Cover it with plastic foil and let it set in your fridge. Also, let your pears cool down completely. Let the poaching liquid reduce until it's a thick syrup. Now cover your worktop with flour and roll out the dough until it's around 3 ml thick. Cut the dough with the desired baking ring and place it on a silicon mold. Cut the remaining dough for the sides and press it carefully to the bottom. Then remove the excess dough with the back of your knife. Now pipe a thin layer of the almond crunchy pan on the bottom and bake it at 170 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Then remove the baking ring and brush one part of egg with one part of double cream to the sides. Bake this for another 5 to 10 minutes till golden brown. Now let it cool down on a tray and then spread the cognac cream on top. Make it higher in the middle. 
toast some almonds on 180 degrees Celsius for 50 minutes and when they're still warm, cut them in small pieces. Now cut the pears in four and remove the core. Then cut them in slices. Lay these slices on the dart. And finish it off with one cut pear in the middle. Now brush this with the reduced syrup. And then finally only add the toasted almonds. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. So like it and share your results with the hashtag SheWasCooking if you want to be featured on my Instagram page. Subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, bon appetit!